a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire. Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds, pupils blown, head trauma. God only knows what else. Shock. Start two large four IVs. Get him to ICU. He's not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Max, the roof's clear. I'll be to present Max Payne. Max, dearest of all my friends. Payne? It's you to get out here in the morning. Max, I'm one one. Sorry, I broke you. Run! spot in my head. A bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain.
I'll deal with pain. He's as good as dead. Freeze, NYPD! Found him! You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Internal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. Oh, bullshit. What the 
hell? They were after me. It was my fault. You can't run from your past. You'll end up running in circles. Until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from. Only the hole's grown deeper. Tried to run from it. Edited it out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. A false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. A fatal choice already made. And it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting, and you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside, drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend, instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people! Circle around! Cover all the exits! Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Bear those extra units! Call the Central! We need every available unit here now! I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. But Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed. A hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out. Back to the job. The NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there. Acknowledge. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while, like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in.
no way to deal with the past. I kept my eyes on the road, off the rearview mirror and the road kill behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. decided to take a piss at the same time. In a situation like mine, you can only think in metaphors. They had killed the love of my life. They were going to pay. Castling Insurance Companies, because your home is your castle. For more information, call now, 555-CASTLE. Television is as fun as mirrors. Two days and two nights non-stop. The cult series Address Unknown. All the episodes, all the madness in our return to Sender Marathon. A glass of Gold Touch Brandy to make you feel rich and... NYPD! Whoa, easy officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait! <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. You know, officer, you cops got it easy. All you have to do is go to the crime scene and look around a bit. We're the ones who have to clean up that mess brains and guts and shit. Detective. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit, what do we get? Right. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. After you, detective. Just show me the way upstairs. Whatever you say, detective. He's cover me! were masquerading as cleaners.
storage, but it had been cleaned out. answering machine had a message on it.
chit chat. Finish her. Wait, the mob guys attacked us. I have no beef with you guys. You took them out. Listen, I work for Vladimir. Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We, we can... NYPD, drop them. Finish her! Oh, God, no! Like all the bad things in my life, it started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. Come on! Finally! Hey! Mona? Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! Whack him! If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning.
cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it. together on this you got sloppy pain you screwed up it's unacceptable that she's dead you can do better I played it as business as usual but everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith licensed dealer in firearms right the property owned by Vladimir Lem three groups one DOAs who had connections to Russian OC Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's gonna be all over the news. The Senator. Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. 
Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winnison's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company in Kaufman had come up empty. I needed to talk to Vlad, get his version. Be the bearer of bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant, vodka. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Vlad! Max! 911! Bad guys with big guns! They've got me pinned down on the entrance hall. Could use some help! Could use it now! I had to find another way to reach Vlad. No time to call backup. My case had a life of its own. I got in through the back door. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. A musty smell under the coat of new paint. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Max Payne, New York's finest, with the biggest mobster body count ever. Dearest guests, prepare to die. But I'm busy dodging bullets and hiding under a desk at the moment. He's down. All clear here. Hey, they want war? We'll kill him. Right, Fats? They got what's coming to them. Now we just need to find a motherfucker hiding behind the microphone and shut him up. Yeah, pull his plug. What was he going on about anyway? <laughs> Don't ask. What the hell? Don't let him... Someone was talking on the other line. Vlad, shut up and stay alive. I'm coming. Max, you heard him. He's coming for you. Shots. You should have no trouble taking them.
Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy, episode 165, Captain Baseball Bat Boy's Girlfriend. Yeah, she's not my girlfriend. Captain Baseball Bat Boy's arch nemesis. That's more like it. Bicycle Helmet Girl has been kidnapped by the villainous Maxwell's demon. Get your hands off me, you ugly freak. <laughs> To save her, Captain Baseball Bat Boy must battle through a horde of demons' minions, the freaking zombie demons from outer space. Bases loaded. <laughs> Fastball! <laughs> Ugh, foul ball! <laughs> Captain Baseball Bat Boy has hit a home run. But can he find Maxwell's demon's secret lair before the game is over? <laughs> find out in the next episode of The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Go! <laughs> A boy! I don't mean to brag, but give me a bat and a zombie head, and I'll hit a home run every single time. A girl! Yawn. Wake me up when you're done trying to impress me. An army of freaking zombie demons from outer space. <sighs> and a whole lot of cartoon kung fu butt kicking. <laughs> The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy! In the Brooklyn School for the Blind, we know that seeing is not the same as believing. The Brooklyn School for the Blind, our doors are open. Hi, you've called Dangerous Liaisons. Call 555-PSSY when you want to do more than just talk. Dangerous Liaisons, our girls are eager to hear from you. Interfectum, 600 milligrams, a serious painkiller for serious pain. When I got shot in the line of duty as a police officer, Interfectum was all I took for the pain. Interfectum kills your pain. Interfectum, 600 milligrams, a serious painkiller for serious pain. Jesus Christ, Apocalypse Now! Got some heavy shit here! Tone it down. Just take everything. Leave them nothing. Hey, be on the lookout. The Russians are sneaky bastards. Winterson would have found a way to do this nice, neat, and clean. Logic told me backup should be on its way. Someone must have heard the gunfire. Logic was such a liar. Teeth, 
The whole set for a tooth. The only way to do it. Hey, Chip, one of ours, we go dental on him. <laughs> hey, what can you do? Vinny's the boss. Half of the time, he's too busy playing with his toys. Gun business is our business. Ours. I don't care who says otherwise. We're in the gun business. Right. Who's there? longer if it wasn't too late already
Cindy. Did you teach them to shoot? Kill him! Fucking kill him! They're coming to take you away! Can you hear them? Shut up! Shut up! Come on, Vinny! You're not really cut out for this! Even try. Hang on, Vlad. Max, I'm coming. Come on, no pain. Not him. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are you waiting for? Circle around and kill him. Kill the cop. And you couldn't hit a truck! Shut up! Shut up and die, Russian! Mastermind? 
He is wiping out everyone he sees as competition on the black market gun trade. The Mafia underboss has made a deal with someone powerful. <laughs> what was it you did for a living again? Scout son or detective, I have mended my ways, evolved to a higher level. Vodka will be the best restaurant in the city. I'll be rich and famous. <sighs> Annie was a princess. They killed her for no reason. You hurt your hand just now? <laughs> a hot date yesterday. Can I tempt you? Let's pretend I'm on duty. Sweet home. Something in the night felt like a door had been opened. An echo of the past. An old monster snapping its eyes open in the depths of my brain. Closing your eyes forces you to look at the darkness inside. And now, a dress unknown. I hadn't slept in a long time. When I did, my dreams were nightmares. I was trapped in a nightmare. My evil double had taken my girlfriend. In a nightmare, every choice you make is a wrong one. Following him, I had somehow slipped into a twisted alternate reality. Noir, York City. I would wake up at night, afraid that day was a dream I'd forget. My double was John Mira. He was the devil incarnate, a fallen angel. The flesh of fallen angels. He was a serial killer. He had framed me for his murders. I was hiding in a cheap motel. One night, I woke to a knock at my door. Someone slipped a note under the door. It was a clue. I descended into a mystery, desperate to catch him. To find my girlfriend, to save her.
We need to hit the place now. Pain's in there. They know that you know. You must run. Max Payne! Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head! This is your final warning! Run, Payne, run! We are gonna shoot! Bring them down. Shoot them, kill. You don't need a lawyer. Just tell us what you did. Pain, you're done. Everything you say will be used against you. What are you hiding? She's alive, isn't she? People get near you, they die. You killed your family. You killed them all. Confess. Do I get my phone call? You already got it. Don't push your luck. Sit down. We're just getting started. Hey, sit down now. Don't get any bright ideas. Put it down. Put it down now. Drop your weapon. Clear in a dream suddenly makes no sense. No surreal rescues, no easy, magic way out. But you are awake. I had woken up to a knock at my door. Mona, I was wondering when you'd show up. Max, I'm not here to kill you. Aren't you going to ask me in? You are in danger. Both of us are. There's a contract out on us. There's no us in this. You're a murder suspect. I should take you in. I was hiding behind the badge. The real thing is never what you think it will be. They found me. This was a mistake. Wait, Mona! She had woken me up. She had come and gone. And now I was being shot at. I had to catch her. Find out what was going on. It's me, Max. I'm at home. Sniper outside the window. Sounds like more gunmen behind the door, closing in. I need help. Max? Oh, okay, hang on. We'll get you out. Who's after you? Can't talk. Don't know. Gotta go. Jam the elevator. Something was barring the door from the other side. I've called the police. 
They're coming to take you away. a surprise finding you here were you looking for me by chance my lord I I was oh this is so difficult my lady my lord I came to see you but now that I am here I can see that this was a dreadful mistake my lady no surely I... my lord I should go should anyone see us together your reputation would be ruined my lady stay my lord please forgive me my lady After the break, an all-new episode of Lords and Ladies. No, no, put it back on. He'll hear. I don't mean to brag, but give me a bat in a zombie head, and I'll hit a home run every single time. A girl! John, wake me up when you're done trying to impress me. An army of freaking zombie demons from outer space. And a whole lot of cartoon kung fu butt kicking. The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy! The school for the Kaufman wants us taken care of. Let's just find a guy so we can off him and go home. You know what this is? Jam the elevator. Such 
such a nice young man, coming to see an old lady like me? Just passing through, ma'am. Such a nice boy. Not like the ones upstairs. They say they're renovating, but it's too quiet. They're up to no good. The doctor gave me pills for my hip, but it's all better now. You should take them. You look a bit pinched, dear. They're in the bathroom. With all these cleaners, you'd think that the place would be neater. I've heard them talking in the corridor. Peeping toms. Oh, I remember sunlit days in the countryside with my Ben. Or was that something I saw on TV? I had found the sniper's hideout. The room was full of surveillance equipment. They had been spying on me for days, weeks, months even. My every action observed, recorded, analyzed. The place was the proof every paranoiac dreams of. Home is where your heart is. Simple. Not like in a movie where the hero gets a chance to disarm the bomb. Once upon a time, it had been a house in the suburbs. He opens the door, and boom! Now, nothing was left of it. I wasn't happy about the way the cleaners were doing their job. Dangerous 
liaisons. For candy, that's one. It's For not candy, the same thing. Two. I'm telling you. Mona, I understand. I wasn't going to get through without the code. Behind the door were the suites. They weren't an improvement on the regular apartments. This wasn't the way out. The cleaners had barred the doors from the outside.
It's a late goodbye. Hey, hey! NYPD. I need the code at the seventh floor door. Sure, sure. I know it. I know it. Wait. Oh, yeah. 667. <laughs> Neighbor of the beast. Get it? Yeah. I get it. Okay. You stay here. Okay. In our headlights, fair and bleak. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On the asphalt. Mm -hmm. Who do you think you are? Only street signs, power lines, they keep on flashing. Return to Center Marathon. Two days and two nights of the 90s cold cities. Address unknown. All the episodes in a row. A real descent to madness.
the explosion in my apartment and started a fire. The flames couldn't burn away my past. They only made the shadows behind me leap higher. I had to get down to the street. through here, the dead cleaner's a sign of her passage. Open the door! Somebody! I'm, I'm gonna burn alive in here! <coughs> oh, oh. Bless you. I, I owe you one. This is where the fun starts. Yeah, no sweat. <laughs> Used to be on a job. <laughs> I was a cop like you. All right, follow my lead. Yeah, <laughs> I was a cop. <laughs> Cost me my marriage. Long hours. He was terrified something would happen to me. I busted my hump. She up and left me. Ah, oh, sure. Started hitting the bottle? <laughs> Anyone would have. <laughs> My boss busted me for drinking. <laughs> Set the rat squad loose on me. Well, that was the end of that. <laughs> I blame the system. Bunch of... bunch of hypocrites. The gas from the broken pipe was feeding the flames. I couldn't get through. Second, I need you to cover me. Say no more. Once a cop, always a cop.
sons of bitches have locked the door! You coming to my rescue? Something like that. We need to get out. You could probably get out through a window on the third floor, if you can kill the flames. A girl's gotta protect herself. I'll take care of this. You stay I'm Violet. Violet, baby. <laughs> I'm your man. <laughs> In your dreams, Juicehead. You Come gotta on, get me over. out of this. Your place or mine, huh? <laughs> hey, I was talking to Handsome here. Uh, freeze, suckers! Gas valve was in the utility room. With the gas turned off, the fire on the third floor was no longer a problem. You do that.
they hit you home? It's like a friggin' kindergarten out there. What next? A kid with a bag full of guns and a head full of video games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Breaks my heart. Innocent people got killed. You didn't do your job, Payne. To protect and serve isn't just bullshit hype. What the hell's going on? With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me. About Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Gognetti is behind the hits. Seems he's made a deal with an unknown third party. Maybe the cleaners. I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Gognetti's list. I came close to lying to Bravura. I told myself I needed to find out the facts first before others could screw up the evidence. But that was an excuse. Mona had gotten under my skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Trace the call and you'll see I'm talking to you from Hong Kong. Winterson. I'll give you my address. Make sure you're not followed. Max, what's going on? What do you mean? Don't do anything stupid. Mona's place was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. about to get caught.
There had been no lock on the front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder. sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. No! No! That. Give it back! He's loose! He has the drill! Restrain him! No! No! Ah! All right now. Easy. Easy, just hand it over. There's a good boy. Hey, stay back! No! Death is coming. It's coming. He's coming. Get away! Get away! When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. Makes you think about free will. 
Have our choices been made for us because of who we are? behind the backdrops, getting warm. When I'd first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. They must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. locked. I could have knocked, but I felt an urge to snoop around more, keep acting paranoid. I pretended I had a choice in the matter. to you in part by Gold Brandy. Going somewhere, little brother? My lord, Jack, what on earth? Why are you lurking here in darkness? Are you... Are you spying on me? Hardly conduct fit for a lord. Not so. The weapons and explosives in her workroom left no questions about her vocation. I, whose actions are in question here, Valentine. Where do you think you are going at this ungodly hour? Who? This shameful errand? Mama? Leave our parents out of this. Papa, the esteemed Sheriff of York, was well on his way to recovery from the consumption when the news of you carrying on with that wench, a pirate's daughter, no less, brought about his relapse. Border dash! Soon Papa will be dead because of you. And I will be the head of the family. Continue seeing her at your own peril. Are you threatening me, my lord? I will cut you off, Valentine. That and worse. I bid you good night, brother. That and worse, brother. <laughs> that and worse. Keep driving into the night. It's a late girl.
goodbye. Such a late goodbye. And we keep driving into the night. Such a late goodbye. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, Mona, you're no singer. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. You have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. She wasn't telling me the whole truth. Let's go. The circle goes back to the centuries-old Masonic cults. Corruption and assassinations reaching all the way to the presidential level. Right. And here I was, thinking conspiracy theories had gone out of style. We're here. So are they. I'm the only one handling a piece here. Which floor? They're after him. The elevators work with the apartment keys and from the desk here. They've jammed most of them to the floors they're on. The guards set off the alarm before they were killed. We need to do this fast. Shouldn't we just wait for the cops? Here, so we can stay in touch. You operate the elevator from here and I'll go I'll up. I'll go up. You're the man. How come you're alive, anyway? I saw you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. For this to work, I was gonna have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. I call the police! So mine. And I play it cool. I go. The police are coming. I Max, you're already on the right floor. I saw the same movie yesterday. You should listen. You might learn something. Right. Well, that's just How it. to make what a fool of yourself. What you don't see is that we are working here. <laughs> you're playing this is the pro setup. Jesus. Top of the line. Yes. This isn't yes. something to joke about. This isn't just a costume party. To take Kaufman. Believe me, without going into details, Kaufman is a bad motherfucker. Of course, that's not his real name. Yeah, no, I see it. I meant nothing by it. And that's the other thing. You should mean something by it. Take a stand for once in your life. Come on, I get the point, okay? Hey, just saying. Just saying. Yeah, I get the point.
cleaning other apartments as well. Corcoran said that other Inner Circle members live in the building. Found a body, a thin guy in a suit. Not Corcoran. He's a big man. Fat. I'm in. Gonna look around. Here. Check upstairs. I'm going upstairs. Strip it down. Papers, photos, everything needs to go. This place needs to be cleaner it's ever been. Kaufman's orders. If and when the CSI crew gets here, it needs to look like a black hole materialized. Get it! Take cover! We're late. He's dead. You need to get out of there. We need to leave now. More cleaners in the lobby coming your way. I wasn't ready to go. Not without a single piece of evidence. In the photo, a group of men posing in front of a manor house. Corcoran was there. Senator Gate was there. So was Alfred Woden. So it was true. 
All bets were off. The inner circle was involved.
Lots of ups, no downs. <laughs> Lucky we had something to calm him down. Just what the doctor ordered. Kill him! Look out! Dead! Unknown continues. Wherever I went, the payphone started to ring. Finally, I collected enough courage to answer one. John, you must run. He's coming after you. He wants to catch you. They're closing in. John, I love you. Don't give up. I wasn't going to give up on her. I could hear her voice in my head wherever I went, guiding me. I traced my double to a classy uptown nightclub, Pink Flamingo. It was happy hour. They were serving flamingo cocktails. Somehow the flamingo was tied to my double. A stripper in the bar looked just like my girlfriend. Mira's men had found me. I ran. Stop him! There he goes! Stop him! You can't escape! We're coming to take you away! You have nowhere to run! Mira was an influential figure in Noir York. His men chased me. They wore white uniforms. 
They looked so clean. They chased me in black vans with the logo of the flamingo on them. I ran. guarding. risk my life on a window cleaner's lift when I can use the elevator. I don't know. For fun. The thrill of it. Like bungee jumping. Extreme sports. You know. Don't get it. That's something you're dying. Mona. I found a window cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? Yeah. I don't know. I just... just wanted to say... Damn it. Mona? Mona? Mona! Say hi to the pavement, sucker! Find another way down to the lobby.
find him, take care of him. Stop! Damn! Why had she come to me in the first place? For help? For something she wasn't telling me? NYPD, freeze! Easy! Don't move! Payne, what are you doing? What are you doing? The million dollar question I didn't have the answer to. What were you thinking? Were you thinking at all? I was following a lead. She was helping me. She is a fugitive murder suspect, for Christ's sakes! I was trying to save those people from the cleaners. The two cases are connected, mine and Winterson's. Senator Gate was killed by the cleaners. They are connected. Winterson can have them both. She doesn't back you up. I was doing my job. I'm sorry to do this, Payne, but it's for your own good. Hand me your guns. I'm putting you to a desk job. Start by writing a report on what the hell happened on the Upper East Side. Fraternizing with the enemy, I had stepped over the edge. The cartoon moment when the gravity waits for the coyote to realize his mistake before the plunge. Get yourself to a counselor. You're falling apart. When you're ready to go to AA, come talk to me. Get your act together. And get someone in here to help me with this mess. I was mad. At myself. At Prevora. At Mona. Was she worth this? Don't envy you. The way the boss goes on about it. No use going in there to clean up. Let him cool off a bit. You better just write that report. He's on his good behavior again. Go he demotes away. himself I'm from busy. deputy chief Some to lieutenant just to do. stay close to the man on the street. You ask me? He loves us all a bit too much for his own good. The spokesperson for AA. He gave you that too? Gotta hand it to him though. He did beat the bottle. Something like that's gotta stay with you. I were you? I'd go to my desk and at least pretend I was doing as I've been told. Doesn't look like I'm open for business. When the door's closed, it's closed for a reason. <laughs>